So it has been a very robust performance by the company and we, as in the, in the previous quarters I have been mentioning that you know we have a significant order book and which will not translate into sales. Even as we speak today we have an order book of almost 1.7 million tons of an order book and from a sales perspective we also see that we did a highest sales of 1.279 million tons in this fun, in, in the last uh, just concluded financial year. And you know, I am so very pleased to inform that this is the highest sales ever done in the history of Wellspun. The the reason for that is, you know, I think we are present in, as you know, we are present in three geographies. We are here in India, we are here, we are there in U.S., and we are also in KSA, which is Saudi Arabia. And uh, very uniquely, and to our favor, all the three economies are doing extremely well on the oil and gas front. And we being one of the largest players in all the three economies, we are getting benefited out of that. And also being a local being in those economies is also helping a lot. And answering that, you know, whether this trend is going to continue, we are very, very optimistic. Uh, the, the way the, the demand for the oil remains strong, the price for the oil remains strong, uh, the sentiments remain pretty much strong. We have a robust order book in place. So uh, I think so the subsequent quarters and the years also look uh, extremely positive to us. Right. Uh, despite an increase in the revenue, you know, there is a loss and uh, contraction in the margin. What has led to this rise in other expenses? So if you, if you see, you know, in, the, in this financial year, our, uh, you know, uh, we, we, uh, we have recorded an EBITDA of 911 crore rupees in comparison to 705 crore rupees of EBITDA of the last year. It is almost a 30% growth on the year-on-year -year -year basis. If you see on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, in this quarter we have done an EBITDA of 278 crore rupees as in comparison to 196 of quarter 3, so which is a 42% growth. If you see on a quarter, uh, uh, Q4 to Q4 basis, we have done 278 versus 138, which is uh, against 100% growth. So I think so from a growth perspective, we are absolutely on track. You know, our uh, margins are improving, the volumes are improving, our order book is improving, our deliverability and serviceability or execution of order uh, capabilities are improving. So I think so we are pretty much on the track. Uh, that's heartening to know. Can you uh, talk to us about the U.S. business? You were talking about uh, a, a good uh, part of your business being, uh, you know, coming in from that particular market. Has there been any uh, sharp rise in the business in the recent uh, past that you would like to talk to us about? And what is the overall contribution like? So U.S. business remains strong for us. You know, if you see the last year has been extremely strong for us. This year also seems to be extremely strong. We have, a, you know, we have almost a full year of an order book at this point of time for our large diameter business in U.S. The primary reason of uh, U.S. Uh, uh, being strong is that the Permian Basin where the maximum fracking is happening. And, you know, uh, the, the, it necessitates for them to put uh, both oil in the gas pipelines. They have to evacuate gas to drill for more oil. So the, these, this is one of the key drivers and uh, you know the diameter and the thickness and the volumes and the speed at which they require those pipelines. I think so Wellspun uh, uh, America is the best suited option for them. And if you see that you know we have been doing two back to back projects with one single customer and which has pretty much occupied our capacity for almost for the large part of our year. So the U.S. business outlook, uh, currently also it is pretty strong. The outlook also for the next one or two years, at least for two years, looks uh, fairly, fairly strong. What is your current order book position? Can you just tell us that, uh, you know, how will it translate into higher growth rate going ahead? So our order book at this point of time is, as I said, is 1.71 million tons as we speak today. And it is valued at $2.15 billion. You know, and if you and if you see almost almost 350 or thousand tons is it in uh, is in, in for our America business almost 600 and or thousand tons 650 thousand tons is for our India business and even seven and a half thousand uh, 750 thousand tons for our Saudi business so all the three economies if you look at it we have a pretty much uh, you know a strong strong order book position in place. Can you talk to us about the proposed divestment plan of the non-core business? How will it add value in terms of reduction of loans, if any? So we 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 have been consistently focusing on two things: managing our you know uh, uh, our cash flows, you know managing our balance sheet, deleveraging it completely, try to you know put off all the known core assets. So we have plate mill 
and a six uh, and a 43 megawatt power plant and you know and they were they were not performing to the optimal level as what we have expected them to do and they were uh, dragging us down so that is how we went you know we got into an agreement and we have started divesting them so we are we primarily want to focus on our core core business which is the pipes and that's the way forward the way and once these non core assets are out in any case the uh, binding agreements are already in place for that uh, once they are out uh, during this uh, physical year we would see a lot of capital get uh, released out of it you know our our uh, our ratios will get significantly improved Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Mathur, for helping us understand uh, your performance in the quarter gone by as well as the roadmap ahead.